1,800 and something calories um, and it is going to be a kind of off day it's not going to be healthy food I, I wouldn't imagine today but I will try and do it all within my calories so yeah so I'll show you when we get there this is the breakfast I'm having I'm unsure on calories at the moment but hopefully I will put it on the screen I'm not sure if I'm going to eat the two sausages I may give one away to my husband I've already got rid of one hash brown and one piece of fried bread um, so yeah it looks very nice and I have asked they have they do grill the sausages and the bacon so so I will put on the screen what the calories are estimated So we're having a nice walk through the woods and Daisy has been in the water and is completely and utterly filthy. Daisy, you dirty girl? Daisy, look at your tummy. Yes, you'll go in there and get even muddier, girl. the wrong colour. Dirty girl. Oh, you're so ignorant. What a dirty dog, hey? Days. Look at me. Oh my gosh. Oh, so dirty. We don't want your bum, we want your face. Look at that face. You dirty thing! I'm just going to show you this now before we cut it. This is a gorgeous lasagna that my daughter has made all by herself. Everything's made. The white sauce, everything made by herself. So I'll show you it when it's portioned up and I'll tell you what the calories are. This is the lasagna dished up. It's 587 calories a portion. It uh, serves six people. It is a little bit, she was worried about me filming it because she thinks it looks a bit wet, but 
the taste is absolutely delicious so and I'm very happy to spend 587 calories on this as it's gorgeous so that's my tea I didn't fancy anything else with it so I'm just having that so this is the brownie I was meant to have videoed it before it was cut but I completely forgot so I'm having this piece now it's an estimated guess well not guess we put everything in neutral check, check um, but we didn't weigh the whole amount so it's kind of estimated but all the ingredients is in and this is come up per portion is 343 um look at it it is so gooey absolutely delicious so i am having that now 343 calories and I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. So I've had rather an indulgent day today but I must say I've enjoyed everything I've had. I'm currently sucking a polar at the moment because as I've mentioned to you before when I over and over indulge in these things I do get really bad indigestion and at the moment I'm suffering <laughs> quite bad so I know what it was it was a breakfast because I'm not used to eating those sort of things um she told me she told me like the sausages was grilled but you don't know do you they they didn't appear to be very greasy but you you don't know and of course I had the fried bread, oh my god, it was so nice, really so nice. But it's something that I, I don't eat anymore. Ha, huh, I got interrupted then. Where was I? Um fried bread. Yeah, it's not something that I eat. Um I never used to eat lo sort of a lot of that anyway. So and I think that's what it is, it's really repeating on me. So anyway, hopefully it will go before I go to bed. Because otherwise, I'll be awake all night with it. And, of course, my daughter's brownie. Oh, my God. 343 calories. I know I estimated it. We put the recipe in, into NutriCheck. Um, and then, like, obviously, you have to... You're supposed to... I'm just getting... Uh, no, you're supposed to weigh it to know what uh what the whole thing is and how many so we pull it as 16 servings we didn't actually weigh it and uh one serving no 16 was coming in at 344 so that was that and then of course the lasagna 587 calories but it was so nice um and the good thing about it, actually, I need to go and amend that because the recipe was put in NutriCheck using the 5% fat mints, but we actually used the 3% fat mints. So it's not going to make a huge difference, but it will make a little bit. But I won't alter it on on here now because it's in, in there. Um, so, yeah, all in all... Oh, and the thing I had with my coffee, with my coffee, the thing I had with my breakfast, well, I, I put it as breakfast in, in NutriCheck, but it was actually brunch, but I didn't have lunch, so it's down in the breakfast uh, category. Um, a latte, which I put down as a Greg's latte, um, just random, 111 calories. And I'm finding it hard to talk with this polo in my mouth. Um... Now, I haven't put down a skinny whip tonight because, as I'm feeling at the moment, I certainly don't think I'm going to want one. I'm very full, very uncomfortable. So, no, I have gone over calories today. But, what, let me tell you, I, I've gone over, I'll show you in a minute so you know I'm not lying. Um, I've gone over 356 calories which means I've eaten a whopping 
whopping. I'm embarrassed to tell you, but there's no point lying. You know, I need, I, I, I have to make this as honest because it's my journey and I'm sharing everything with you. So what's the point? So I've had a whopping 2,176 calories today. So I've just had a little working out of, so that's 356 over. Obviously, everything's estimated, like the breakfast was estimated, um, as in you hope that she did grill them when she says. So, for the rest of the week, I should be on 1,330 calories. So, if I knock 50 calories a day off, will give me 1,280 calories. Over six days, because obviously I've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then obviously that's way day, then Saturday. So I've got six days, so that's the saving of um, 300 calories. But obviously I'm 356 over. It may actually be a little bit more than that, because that was estimated. So if I can, on some of the days, get down to 1,200, I will. Um, if I can work it out, I will get down to the 1,200 just to try and protect my weight loss because I've done that good loss this week. If you haven't already checked out my weigh-in update, go and have a look, see what I've done. So, I've got that good weight loss this week. I don't want to be going backwards, so I need to protect my weight loss. So, if I can get down to 1,200, 200 um even if i had done it say four days well if i could done that four days that's another 320 calories saved wow so 320 that would definitely cover me so yeah hopefully i will sort out my meals to be able to do 1200 a day i've already got tomorrow's food put in um the lasagna is made six servings so it was only my daughter and i that had that tonight because the boys don't really eat lasagna um so we're having another portion each tomorrow for our tea i'm giving my mum a portion so there's going to be one portion left which i'll put in the freezer so um so i've got tomorrow's food programmed in um, and what I've put in up to there, no I haven't because I haven't put my skinny whip in and I can't go without my skinny whip tomorrow night because I'm going to miss it tonight but I just can't eat it today. So with what I've put in tomorrow I'm on 1188 so hopefully if I can stick to that I'll be alright. Anyway I'm going to turn you around and show you today's because I'm waffling on let me take you off this so look at that 1246 <gasps> that obviously had my milk in for the day and it's got the the coffee there but oh my goodness oh my goodness now um, oh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. But lunch is empty because that was really lunch, I suppose. But I put it as breakfast. And that was my... That's down as that because I got a couple of lasagna recipes. And I know that that's the one that my daughter makes. Um, and then I got the brownie down there. So... God, everybody's interrupting me tonight. I, I've forgotten again where I was. So, anyway, so that's that's what it is today. I'm over calories, but I'm going to work it out this week so I won't. Um, it won't affect my weight loss next Saturday, because if you could only know how happy I felt this morning, getting on the scales and seeing the result. Um, you know, I just don't want anything to get in the way of that next week. So, 
but I feel that it is nice just to have that treat on a Saturday and my daughter is so desperate to cook all the time and I keep putting her off and it's like well the best day to do it really is for the Saturday so I can perhaps work that into my calories so that's what I'm doing and she's taking it now for GCSE so oh God only knows what we're going to be having but anyway thank you so much for watching and um, um, I hope you've uh, tuned in to see my weighing update. If not, it'd be great if you go and have a look. And if you could like the video, please. And if you haven't already subscribed, it is free to do so. All you do is you press the subscribe button and press the, the bell symbol and you'll be notified each time I upload, which is daily and twice on a Saturday when I do my weighing update. So thanks once again. Once again, I'll get my words out and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.